came out this morning. I needed to stake some tomatoes. I've seen all these different kinds of bees. That's an orchid bee. For a good hour, at least, I was watching a bumblebee pollinate my tomato plants this morning. Like just now. <gasps> there she is. Hold on. difficult to track the flight patterns of this beautiful little bee. She's magnificent. I was watching her for like, I don't know, an hour today. Remembering the medical medium bee meditation that bees help restore your soul. I just watched her. I watched her pollinate all of my tomatoes. I would say single-handedly, but I've also seen the orchid bee and the sweat bees and some other little tiny, tiny pollinators that I don't know what they are. my friend on my fountain. A little skipper. He's very fast and he doesn't like to be photographed. Or he does, but the camera won't do it. See? Goes blurry. did everything off the bottom. And each new growth of all of these beautiful little tomatoes. I love my little red dwarf tomatoes. I mean orange hat tomatoes. <laughs> they are dwarf tomatoes. <laughs> that was a funny mistake. The dragon head balm. Getting all these beautiful flowers. The basil, the way it's going to go to seed very soon. It's getting ready to flower. How the leaves get striated. Not in color, but in texture. The borage. So gorgeous. It's so huge, it's outgrowing its pot. And I've seen the hummingbird drinking from the borage, which made me so happy. And the hummingbird made a little noise to let me know it was there, so I looked over that day. Hope I see it again. The lemon balm and how it's exploded so much that it's got three pots now. I've given it three pots because it was just so overcrowded in the one. And look already, it's made babies in this pot. The beautiful colors on some of these tomatoes.
the gorgeous potato flowers. The tiger lilies. Beautiful in bloom. The black eyed Susans. Thriving. Well, growing anyway. <laughs> in the soil, proving that they can survive any soil, even clay mud soil. The echinacea, purple cone flower, with a tiny pollinator on it. So cute. Can you see it? Beautiful. More tiger lilies. Doing really well where I put them. I don't know if you can see that gorgeous dragonfly up there. It's just perched and I'm afraid to get closer. Yep, that's why. <laughs> And this one, the spider wart, it was getting choked out by weeds, but I weeded it and it's coming back. It's so gorgeous. And the view from the outside of all of it. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a tiny, tiny pepper. That is going to be a Fresno. Yay! A little skipper just landed on this statue, but he doesn't like to be photographed. So as soon as I turn on the camera, he's like, no, nah, I'm open. He's flying around here, hoping he'll land again. He's such a sweet little guy. He's my little buddy. He always visits, hangs out when I'm here. and I'm really happy about their progress. Let's see if I can find a pepper. Okay, I don't know if you can see in here, but like right there, there's like tiny peppers. And I know I saw a pepper plant on one of these, or a tiny pepper on one of these the other day. Okay. There it is. See it? Right there. This is not all the weeds. This is some of the weeds. Uh, I had a full bin full. Those got dumped. But I was really proud. And what I did was I just took it in stages. I didn't try to, I didn't, first because I just kept looking at it and thinking, oh my gosh, I can't do all this. That's so much. And then I was like, I don't have to. Just do a piece of it. Oh, the bumble's on the bridge now. She's pollinated everything here, today, by herself. Not by herself. The orchid bee and the, uh, and the sweat bees and those little tiny guys that I don't know what they are. You can see there's a sweat bee on there now. But she's worked so hard. They all have. Incredible. Incredible. Thank you so much for pollinating all of this. You're amazing. My buddy, do you see him? He loves to hang out on that little feeder, that little waterer, I mean. And it makes me so happy that he does. I, I want to get closer, but I don't think I can because he'll, he scares. He's a skipper and they fly and they move. But he hangs out with me. He's landed on me before. So precious. He knows I love him. He's not bothered by me. 
He just watches me. Sometimes I talk to him. Oh my gosh, did you see in the background? Did you see? I don't know if you saw, but there was a little skink. There's little skinks and these little um, uh, blue-tailed lizards. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. They have iridescent blue tails. It's amazing the wildlife here. We've seen toads too. It's amazing, they just come. They come to the garden. The skinks and the little, the other ones, the blue-tailed skinks, I don't know. I don't know what any of them are called, uh, the, but my neighbor said they're called skinks. So the little brown skinks and the little blue-tailed skinks, they love, and the toads actually, they like to hang out between my pots. So when I've got a group of them like this that are close together, I will often see skinks or toads in between the pots. They hang out there, it's so cute. from a puppy. She's a perennial. She keeps coming back every year. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. She really wants to come out. 